principles of building a brand, a personal brand or entity brand. So this is again very important because this sets the foundation of you before you even before you even go through the process you already know okay these are the things that i have to consider for me to run a successful brand through facebook there are six things that we have to consider all right six things so grab a pen grab a paper you can uh, write it down if you're that type of person the first thing is that you always have to give value i'll repeat you always have to give provide value What's the point of value? How can you add value on Facebook? I mean, yeah, like how, how do you do it, right? Through information. Through information or entertainment. Let me explain. When we say information, it's just like what we are doing in the present. We are giving valuable information to the people. We are educating them about three major things. Business, finance, and life. Anything that we put out on our brand is related to those three things. Even if we have a guest, it has to be educational. It has to be something that we give value to the audience so that they would want to come, come back to the page and learn something new or refresh the learnings that they had before. Get it? So when we give value to the audience, it's really more about finding ways to be more relatable and what topics speak to their mind, speak to their hearts. That's one way of doing it. You give value. So let's say you are an owner of a restaurant, for example, and you want to use Facebook as your side business or as your marketing tool. How are you going to do it? Well, you can show your process of how you create the food. And you may be thinking, oh no, if I'm going to show the process, that means my competitors can follow or can copy what we are doing. But you don't have to show like each super detail but you can show them a snippet of how you create or how you prepare the food so that the audience would like to taste your food and they have the confidence that your process is good, your process is worthy enough to somehow make them believe that it is safe and it is going to be delicious, right? So if another thing that you can do in terms of giving value is entertainment. When we say entertainment, if you know how to sing, you can shoot a video of yourself singing and then post it on Facebook. At first, you may see little to no traction. That means no one's going to view it. But when you consistently do it, there's a chance that you're going to get exposed. So that also means that you have a higher chance that your profession and your passion will, come, will convert into a profession. Now, what if you're not a singer? You are a joker or a comedian, so you can also Take a video of yourself or pictures or like blogs and then post it on Facebook. That's the good thing about Facebook. There are a lot of ways for you to give value to your audience. Unlike, for example, YouTube, there's only one way, which is video. But for Facebook, you can do graphic, you can do blogs or text, and you can also do videos, just like what we're doing right now. This is a video, right? And so the point is, when you give value, it's not value that you want to get something out of them but it's really value that you want to give something to them i'm going to repeat that it's not something that you get out of them you give it to them you know it you provide so much value so much value that the t when the time comes that you're going to ask for a conversion let's say you're selling a book or an online course or anything that you want them to you or you're inviting them to join your your seminar or something like that it gives them a sense of responsibility. Hey, this guy gave a lot of value to me, like real value, and so I want to give back. Because humans as we are, we have this uh, a feeling of reciprocation. That means if I give you something, it's like I'm also urged to give you something back. You know, it's human nature. And so when you give a lot of things, when you give value, that's the point. They would also want to give something back to you. So the first principle that we have to understand and consistently apply in building our brands is giving value. Remember that. The second one is engage with your audience. Repeat, engage with your audience. When you use Facebook, there are like likes, you know, that's, a, you know, when people like your post, 
there's also the share that means people are happy with what you are doing are they receive value that they also want to share to people and that also gains uh, a lot of trust for you at the same time there's the comment section so the comment section is very important why is that because when people engage with you they may ask questions through the comment section they may even like appreciate or just give you thank you or they just want to um, show their appreciation to whatever it is that you do this is the time that you engage with your audience you respond to comments you respond to messages and you read all of them you don't have to respond to all of them because sometimes when they say thank you you can say welcome but after that they're going to say thank you so you don't have to say welcome anymore but the point is you have to read the comments right you have to read the comments my common analogy of this is like this imagine you invited people into your house because you have a birthday party and then everybody arrive in your house and you're not there it's going to be awkward for them to go into your house and have some fun and you're and you're not there because you are the host of the party it's the same thing when you have a brand you are the host you are the reason why you are giving value to them and so when people come in you also have to respond you have to you also have to entertain them because it is your responsibility by responding responding to them you know so engage with your audience that's the second one the third one is this is a crucial part because when you start to engage with your audience when you start giving value to them not everybody is going to agree with you that means you're going to get some haters that means you're going to get some likers you know like there are likes there's there are also people who will contradict whatever it is that you're going to say especially if they don't like you especially if they hate you they will just find ways to crush you they will just find ways to bring you down sad to say it's a common reality that people face i face it there are some people who curse who message just to curse about things and sometimes i don't i, I don't understand why they are like that but that's who they are maybe and so you have to be prepared for that in fact there are some people when they start to get negative feedback from their audience they feel devalued that means they're going to stop their page they're going to stop putting out valuable content even if even if it's valuable for some people get it and so you have to be prepared for what the market will tell you they may give you praises they will they may give you appreciation they may even hate you sometimes some people will hate you but at the end of the day you have to stand firm you have to know who you are and you have to know what you're trying to do with your brand okay so it is normal for anyone try to imagine even the celebrities even businessmen they go through th these kinds of stages people don't like them just because they don't feel the person and it is okay you cannot please everybody so don't stop all right the fourth thing is legacy is greater than currency let me repeat that legacy is greater than currency now when we start to create a brand on Facebook it is more about the long-term planning and, uh, and the long-term effect that you're trying to do to impact the lives of people through entertainment or education or information that you're giving out but there are times that you will be shown like opportunities you know that may that may reroute you or may give you like a detour of where you want to go what do i mean by that just going to give you like a specific thing that happened to me happened just recently so the present again is a platform where we share three major things business finance and life and so when we got like followers you know things like that people are engaging some people are approaching me because they want me to promote their product and this and just say hey buy this product and even if and they are they are willing to pay me just to do it because in their mind it's marketing they are paying me to tap the audience and then somehow since you have built that trust with the host in this case it's me what's going to happen is people would want to do that that's like how celebrities do it right if you if you 
if you're a, like a Jordan fan and then he, when he launches a new uh, shoes, you're going to buy it because you're a Jordan fan. If you're a Kobe fan, it's the same thing. If you're a LeBron James fan, it's the same thing and Stephen Curry and so on and so forth. That's the basketball analogy. But the point is, it's the same thing with your presence. When you start to you build your, your brand and then you, you, you become like an influence in the space, some people will try to market to you so that they can access your audience. And so if you're going to sacrifice all your hard work just for you to get that currency, that amount, for you to market something that you don't even believe in, or it's not even aligned with your brand, then that means you're in it for the money. You're not in it for the long term. You're not in it just to, you know, for, for you to add value. You're in it just for the money. And so please be really careful with that because remember that your brand has something to stand for and if it's something that's not aligned with it do not sacrifice all your effort just for you to get the currency get it so legacy is greater than currency so another thing is that when someone gives you negative feedback it hurts going back to third one right it hurts as much as possible, try to do your best to not attack the person because that can be used against you, okay? So just, if you, if you receive like a negative feedback, this is what happened to us, and if I don't agree with it, I just scene zoned it, or like I'm not going to, res to respond. But there are times that I'm going to clarify also what they thought about what they thought about themselves, you know? And there are times that the negative thing, they just maybe misunderstood what I said. And because I reached out, they also converted to be becoming fans, which is also a good thing. But the point is, try to do your best to master your emotions. Because if your emotions get the better of you, you may, uh, you may end up doing things that you're going to regret. All right? So that's the fourth one. Number five, the fifth principle is be consistent. This is a huge mistake that I did before. What do, we, what, do I, what do I mean by that? Like there are times that I'm not going to post. <laughs> there are times that I don't have, I'm not in the mood or I don't have anything because I'm going to make excuses like I have a lot of work to do or I don't like to do it anymore because the internet is down or I don't like the quality and blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, you have to be consistent. Imagine you like a show, right? For example, Game of Thrones. <laughs> I like Game of Thrones and the Big Bang Theory. So you, they have like a specific schedule and the reason why they have this schedule is for the people to be excited about, to look and, and be prepared on those time. You know, when the time comes, okay, it's the Game of Thrones or like the Avengers movie, the Avengers movie, things like that. It's the same thing with what you're doing. So if you set a specific schedule for your for your content, right? Like it may be a blog, a, a graphic, or a video. The point is you have to be consistent so that people will remember you. And there is also some sort of excitement from your audience, from your community, that they also want to wait for your content because they know that every time you put up content, it is something that they are waiting for. It's like when you're hungry and then you go to a restaurant and then the waiter says, all right, your food will be served in between 15 to 20 minutes. And then when it reaches 30 minutes, you're going to get mad. But if it arrived like before 15 minutes or 15 minutes exact, you're going to feel happy. It's the same thing. It's the same analogy. All right. So when you say or when you identify a schedule, you have to follow through that schedule. For the present, as of the moment, we have two videos per week that's every Wednesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. PHT but me we, we are also planning to change it because we're doing live videos once a week so we're still ironing that out but the point is you have to be consistent all the time and the last thing is don't forget how you started so truth be told there are some content creators when they started they started with zero and then now they have like a hundred thousand followers, two hundred thousand followers, whatever. They tend to forget where they started, and uh, 
like they act differently like they they are they're they're not as humble as before because they think that oh yeah i have achieved something but the point is remember where you started because when you when you know where you started you you don't you don't rest you try to improve what's going to happen to your business right one of the best quotes that i like from gary vaynerchuk is you try to put yourself out of business every day again you try to put yourself out of business every day because doing that is way more fun than having someone else destroying your business for you getting it that means you have to constantly improve remember when you started you tried to find ways to add value to the community however as time flies what usually happens is you're no longer trying to add value to your community because you feel like oh, it's okay I have a lot of followers no it's not like that at the end of the day you need to value your community just like how you value your friends okay so don't forget how you started so those are the six principles in order for you for us to create a powerful personal brand that's gonna stick number one is you always have to give value to your audience number two engage with them especially when they reach out to you number three is you have to be prepared for haters because it's gonna happen whether you like it or not it is gonna happen number four is legacy is greater than currency never sacrifice your brand just for a short-term money because you're going to regret that decision and by the way your audience is going to feel that they will know because they have known you and when there's something fishy fishy they will recognize it number five is you have to be consistent so when you say that you're going to put out content on like on a weekly basis that means you have to stay to your word you have to honor your word number six is don't forget how you started you may start with zero and now that you're a hundred thousand or one million one million followers but remember how you started because it will always keep you planted on the ground at the same time you will always find ways to improve for the sake of your audience and for yourself